Hey everyone, Kate Bohr and Fiona Pearman joining you for this week's Facebook Live. After what has been an epic week, Fee, of Rise 2023 last Friday, we had nearly 300 of you online. Um, last night, it uh, doesn't feel like last night, last night um, we did Rise After Hours, so an encore event. Again, um, you know, nearly 60, 70 of you joining us online to really dig in uh, to your goals for 2023, where you want to stand out, be more visible, um, build brand profile influence. It was incredible. Yeah, we absolutely loved it. We loved the dynamic. We love being involved. We love the engagement in the group. I think this is clearly the year, Kate, that people are wanting to be seen. They want to be visible. They want to be recognized. They want to be rewarded for the value they're contributing. And so really exciting to have people wanting to dig into that and start to uh, create a plan and think about what that might look like. Um, yeah, I think, I think I was going to say, especially after the last couple of years, right? Um, you know, lots of people spinning uh, their feet career-wise, whether that's because for whatever reason, promotion opportunities haven't been there. Um, of course, remote working has made it really difficult to build relationships um, as well. And so I really do think, um, you know, the time is now. I've been back um, doing face-to-face -face meetings. Um, it's been incredible. The value of the in-person, that doesn't mean you have to do it every week, but um, I do think there is a shift in terms of, you know, the cycle that we are at when it comes to not only the return to work conversation, but of course, um, building brand profile influence and impact in, um, in our organisations. Definitely, definitely. There's a, a shift there. And I think what we saw, you know, as we start to think about some of the insights, some of the lessons that we got having been in um, large virtual rooms with a lot of people is the value of community, the value of connection, the value of being in touch with other people. Um, our chat feeds were absolutely flooded. People had so much to share, the openness, the vulnerability, the willingness to extend ourselves to reach out to others and also the support and love for each other in the community. Um, that was all really exciting. And I think one of the things that people often reflect on and love about being um, in these big events together is realizing I'm not alone, realizing that, you know, these issues, these challenges, the roadblocks I come up against as I seek to be a bit more visible are universal and most of us are struggling with them. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, always great to have our acts of confidence alumni in the room. Um, sharing their inspirational um, stories with the community. It certainly um, was incredible. I think the second thing um, that was really prevalent was just the importance of self-awareness. Now, we talk about this a lot, but our ability to be aware of the stories we're telling ourselves to quote Brene Brown, um, the beliefs, the assumptions we're making, particularly when it comes to the goals that we're setting, or the aspirations that we may hold, or the possibilities or lack of possibilities that we might believe are present for us. And so the ability to shine a light on some of this default thinking, to be able to see it for what it is with compassion, not beating ourselves up really importantly, allows us then to make a new decision or to do nothing, right? Perhaps it's there's acceptance there, but once we know we can't unknow, and I think it's a really important piece as we step into this year to really have conscious awareness around not just conscious decision around who we are, what we want, where we want to go, but an awareness around potentially what might be holding us back. Yeah, I think that was incredibly powerful. And you could see people starting to unpack, starting to um see perhaps things that have been been hidden from them before or the way in which they were thinking. And um, we spend a lot of time in this conversation about self-awareness and mindset. And the more we're willing to examine, so what are my default assumptions? And how could I start to um, do something differently here? How could I could I challenge my old thinking? I think is often uh, where we take people. I think the other thing we loved um, and that was particularly potent was that's you know this identifying one specific goal. What's one thing I'll do? What's my next action step? As having invested the time in coming to you know a three hour workshop, what is it I'm going to take away and make real in my world? And we could see people really choosing something that was 
in most cases, a bit beyond their comfort zone. And that's super exciting for us because then we know that something will change in their world as a result of trying something that maybe they wouldn't have tried before. Yeah, a big promise of our work is small acts of confidence and taking action provides information, right? Information to do more of that or information to do less of that either moves us forward. So that real clear commitment. And if you joined us, um, we ask you to share in the chat bit at the end what your action step is. Um, you should now be in movement. You should be in that action taking space. And so we really encourage you to do that, um, to hold your, yourself accountable, to hold your buddies who you met over the course of your um, RISE program experience as well. And of course, a um, huge shout out to those that are joining us on the Acts of Confidence journey uh, that kicks off next Wednesday. Really excited to bring uh, be bringing in another incredible um, cohort of women together um, who will be getting who will begin um, their acts of confidence journey. So if you're interested, there's still still time to jump on board. Um, just head over uh, to the link that will be floating down. Um, if you've got questions, reach out. Um, one of the team um, can answer those. Um, and we look forward to kicking off another group of acts of confidence women.